Thanks for watching. This is Lisa Clark, and this is my channel, Therapy Art for You. I've said this before. I'm new to YouTube, but I sure appreciate anyone that will hit that subscribe button for me because it does encourage me to keep going, keep sharing. Um, so I wanted you to see that I am using some pan pastels to block in some background layers of color, uh, which saves a ton of time. Uh, in actuality, I kind of wish now looking back, I would have used more pan pastel to achieve the colors <laughs> for the back layers and then added the details that wouldn't have taken near as long. Um, if had I done pan pastels, um, as the back layers. And then you can easily go over that pan pastels with, with pencils, with pan, with pastel pencils, charcoal pencils, and what have you. Um, but as you can see, you can put down tons of color quickly uh, with the pan pastel. And maybe I would have stuck with this and made the finished product bigger than a 4x4 four four size, uh, which is what I ended up doing. I think because I just kind of got tired. I got tired of feeling like I was doing the same thing over and over again. And, um, for you, anyone that's still hanging there with me watching this videos of the cat eye series, you can see, and you've probably figured out tons of layers. Um, this Canson pastel paper has a very gritty tooth, which is fabulous for laying down pastels. Very, very, very good paper. In my opinion, um, there's also pastel mat, which is also excellent, um, but yeah, it, you really do need that, um, that, that tooth of the grit on that paper in order to put all these layers down that I'm doing here, um, or that I end up doing on this paper. I can't even count how many layers are on this paper, but it just goes to show you this paper is awesome. You can just put down, you can really change your whole focus. You could go a whole different direction with it. So yeah, again, laying down another layer of white, um, over that will be more grays, more blacks, tans, browns, you name it. They're just going to be lots of colors, <laughs> lots of layers. So I'm trying to really edit these videos, this time lapse down because it did really take a lot of hours to do all these layers. And I'm literally taking like an hour video and narrowing it down to like a five or six minute video. Some of them are a couple minutes longer than that, but it just shows you like how many hours goes into if you really want that detail to pop out. Um, but yeah, it's interesting. Um, I hope it's helping somebody to understand a little bit about pastels. Um, I think they're a very forgiving medium. Um, they can be tricky at times, it's a learning thing. I'm not a professional artist by all means. I'm a novice. I am just starting out, but I felt like maybe sharing some, some pros and cons of things might help somebody else around, um, the art world. So yeah, if it's helping, I really do appreciate that. I hope it is that I love helping people out. So shoot me a comment. If there's something you'd like to see, if you have a question about any of the techniques, any of the materials I'm using, uh, definitely hit me a comment and I will answer you. I, to the best of my ability, I'll sh I sure will. So yeah, uh, you can see the hairs over here where I'm at right now. They're longer. Um, there's quite a few little hairs that are quite long on this cat. And then there's ones that are just literally minuscule. They're, they're so tiny. They're just so short, but you can see here, um, I'm just blending, blending more because I already know there's going to have to be more detail there. So I use the blending stump to basically soften the, what I just laid down, blend it a little bit, and then I will be going over it again, um, to create those, the single hairs that I call them, um, to make them highlight. And so you can, it makes it feel like there's some depth to this, to the fur. Um, and if that's what you're trying to achieve, just know it's going to take you a long time. It's going to take layers and lots of patience, walk away, take breaks. I always say that, um, this one took me quite a while to do, but this is part four and part five is available or will be available. If this is, you know, if you're watching it right when it drops, I'm trying to do every space, every three days, 
uh, for a new video, give me time to edit. So this is part four. Part five is on my channel. And thanks for watching. Have a great rest of the day. Bye.